Hello, welcome back. It's the Clay Golem here. Uh, I'm not in Foundry VTT, am I? No, I'm not. Um, yes, I know. Third video released today. It's been a bit of a funny week this week. It's been a bit quiet on the videos. Uh, it's not because I haven't been doing them. Uh, it's just uh, I haven't been uh, finding the time to do the edit bits. And I've been doing quite a lot of, um, of work in the background of just keeping an eye on the uh what's going on with the mods and everything else talking to some of the developers and stuff like that so it's been a bit of a strange week from that point of view uh partly because obviously the things that have happened with warp gate and stuff but anyway moving on we're not going to get stuck into that um this is going to be probably the final video i'm going to do on benios maps um because um you're probably getting sick of it because if you're not using them you <laughs> <laughs> you're probably not even going to want, you're going to click off right now. And that's fine. If it's not something you're interested in, click off. I'm continuing to build my uh, Curse of Strahd campaign, of course, that um, we're starting to play very soon. The reason why I'm in Benios Maps, and yes, this has been uh, uh, redacted, so you can't see some of the stuff here. But as I've mentioned in previous videos, there are two tiers of uh, membership of Patreon that you can have with Benios. We looked in the first video at the highest tier where everything comes in. It's all there. It's all beautiful, all built for us. Really quick to get in there. In the second video, we looked at the fact that actually it's bringing an awful lot of versions. The, the day version, the night version, the videos, the um, gridded, not gridded and things like that. Um, and actually, we don't really need them all. So going through and just removing some of those stuff. What I want to do in this video is just talk about the second tier, which is the files only tier. Um, and again, so I'm going to hide any details that might give you a clue so that you could potentially access this stuff without that membership stuff. Because, you know, we're not giving away people's hard work for free. We're not going to do that. That would be, well, regardless of the legalities of it. That's just not cool, man. We're not doing that. Um so when you get access to the files by doing that lower tier thing, uh, you actually get a link to the Google Drive with all of their maps in it. Uh, and as you can see, there's the Curse of Strahd folders, but also other things from other areas. They're more generic maps and stuff. But obviously, I'm specifically interested in the Curse of Strahd ones. So what I've done is I've downloaded one of those. Now, this is the uh, Barovia Village. And as you can see, it comes with a whole bunch of folders for it. So there's a city map folder. And even within that city map folder, I'll zoom in on this a bit for you. I, in the last video, I said I'd zoom in and then didn't, sorry. Um, it comes with all the files there. But again, look, we've got a gridless version. Um, we can just run this. There you can see a gridless version of the map. Uh, we've got the sound file for the background noise that comes with those. We've got just the static map. So again, we do get a whole ton of files. So you might want, you know, this version of the map. You might want this version of the map, etc. You can pick and choose what you want. So again, there's still going to be that process of you going through and going, well, let's ditch the bits that we don't actually want. Um, but again, once you've paid for the Patreon, you get it all for free. Um, now, we were looking at, um, well, we've got Mad Mary's house. Let's look at the, the Burgermaster here. So, again, we've got a whole host of files, including some of the video files, the, the, the static maps here, one without grid, one with grid. I said that the wrong way around. But it's all here and includes the sounds and stuff. So, we can just build this ourselves how we want within our own um, within our own world if we want to just using those maps so let's uh, let's very quickly um, make a scene um, I'm just gonna call it house this is my life <laughs> this is my live uh, game so I need to be a bit careful about messing around with things like mods and stuff in here and making uh, <laughs> making a hash of it so I'm just gonna call it house because I'm gonna delete it straight after this video but I can go in go into my maps my cursor strad folder um, really badly organized as usual yes i know moulinette it's there i should be using it but i'm not because i'm an idiot <laughs> there's no other way to put it um but i can go in and let's uh let's pick the church interior and as we saw before we've got lots of options on here of what we can use uh, i'm going to use this one here for my main map i think that's the ground floor let's check it out yeah so boom and that's what we saw in the pre-built scenes. Um, so obviously, this doesn't have any walls. It's just the map itself. 
So obviously that higher patron one, all the walls and everything are already built for us, which saves loads of time. And it's built within that navigatable, navigatable structure already. Whereas this is, well, as it says, it's just the files. Um, so if you like the maps and you like the way that Benios does the maps, this is a much more cost-effective way of bringing them in. Uh, and then you can do your own lighting, do your own walls and stuff. Now, again, it's, this is about whether you want this feel, whether you have the time to build your own scenes. For some people, they'll go, I'd love to have the time to build my own scenes, but I don't. So I'm going to pull in what's already pre-made from Forgotten Adventures, from Benios, or wherever it might be. Um, and pay that little bit extra for me personally i like making the scenes i enjoy it i don't know i enjoy lego as well uh, in the comments who else has lego yeah because <laughs> because we're all a little bit nerdy because you wouldn't be watching this if you're not um but yeah i enjoy making the scenes so while i fell in love with the benios kind of full thing actually that's taking some of the fun out of it for me spending time building scenes and stuff like that so um i'm going to be because i am a patron i have paid for it i'm going to be pulling down loads of these maps and things uh, and filtering through so in the videos where i continue to build curse of strad you'll see lots of benios maps appearing in that um probably won't use the videos Again, over time, I've been thinking more about it, um, and and what is it I want my characters, to, my players, to experience? Yes, it's beautiful, but is that the right feel for them? And I mustn't lose sight of that. I mustn't get distracted by the shiny, which is really easy to do with Benios. Um, I need to make sure I'm giving them what they have signed up for, um, and I think a much more a much more traditional game with less automation um, and focusing on the role play side of it is much more important for my players um, yeah absolutely um, anyway so I just thought I would show you that that's kind of what you get and you can just pull in any of these obviously I can just change this scene and pick any of the other uh, the other maps that I wanted to if we wanted to look at a different one um, because again they've got them yeah, this is a slightly darker version. I'm probably always going to go with a slightly darker version for Strahd. Anything inside Barovia. But there we go. Um, so yeah, masses. I'll bring this over. Masses of assets for every location. You know, just the streets. Again, there's, there's video ones. Uh, what I really like is the fact that I am getting these audio files with this. Because it's such always a challenge for me is finding good background music. Like, well, Benny, I've got it all. And I can use it. It's like, brilliant. Yes. Um, and I probably, I need to check, but it probably isn't an issue because I've paid for it and I'm not sharing it with you of me actually having that um, play in my scenes in videos as well. But I will double check that because, again, don't want to tread on anybody's toes. We want to make sure we are not just legally compliant with this stuff, but also we're ethical. Um, that's really important to me. <laughs> Your long-term video watchers will know that. That's really important to me that we do the right thing um you know morally and ethically not just the legally correct thing uh so anyway a bit of a short video but i just wanted to kind of wrap up um the benios and make sure that you guys saw that this was an option as well um in the next video i think we'll go back to doing a little bit of building because i've not done a bit for a while and i'm aware that my players are going to be chomping at my heels and i want to make sure that i feel i've got the time to put into creating my scenes for my players rather than holy heck they're turning up in half an hour i need to throw something together but benios is really useful for that as is moulinet if you know what you're going to do and you know where those assets are you can just pull that stuff straight in from those people from uh, forgotten adventures etc um i'd much rather be a bit more organized a bit more a bit more of an idea of what i'm expecting to happen and having a backup plan when they do something else because they bloody well will won't they every player is a pain in the ass and we love them for it cheers guys take care <laughs>